All right, guys, welcome back to our brand new video. What I'm about to do, but yeah, I know it's late at night right now. Well, not too late, but the sun's going down. But I'm gonna try to start taking off the front end already. I'm gonna make it a little part video because right now I know I'm gonna struggle a little bit to do the front end conversion. Hopefully, I don't. But I'm gonna start taking everything off and try test fitting stuff. Hopefully, I can get it done. Probably not gonna finish today, probably gonna finish it tomorrow if everything goes good. So, right now, I'm gonna start taking it apart. I don't have my headlights right now because I'm getting them custom done right now, some things in it. So I don't have the headlights and nothing's color matched right now, so it's gonna look a little weird, but I'm gonna start right now and take everything apart. All right guys, so now I started taking this part off, the bumper pad, I already loosened both sides up, and now I'm gonna pull it off, and that way I can get the grill off. It already started turning nighttime. I was looking for the fucking right one to take it off and I couldn't find it. All right guys, so I went to go get some lights. I'm facing them that way because they're bright. But I already got this bumper pad off and now time to get off the bumper. Well, the grill first. All right guys, grill is off and I also loosened this one up. I just have it hanging from this one right here. Yeah, that tab is broken. I don't care. I'm changing it either way. But yeah, so that's how it looks right now. I'm gonna attempt to take off the header panel now so I can put on the new one. And that's basically kind of what I want to do today. Maybe I'll test fit the bumper as well. But yeah, let me get to that. All right guys, so I don't think I recorded this, but I painted my new header panel. Um, I know it doesn't really match. I think it's because I used a dark primer. They told me that if, the, if I use a dark one, it was gonna be dark and it is. Well, they told me that a long time ago, so yeah. But either way, it still looks good. But I took off my old grill and just to be silly or dumb, <laughs> I just slapped that shit on. But what the fuck, that shit looks weird as fuck. Yeah, but hell nah. Alright guys, so I didn't record myself doing this. Reason is because I try to not make my videos that long when I'm doing stuff like this. I try to get straight into the point. So right here, I found it easier to remove. All I had to do was remove bolts right here. All right guys, so I had messed up, so I had cut the video, but for this part, the header panel, I was you're supposed to need the whole complete thing. So by complete thing, I mean like this part, the little metal part, or let me show you guys right here. This is the 14 one. Sadly, the 14 one did not fit. So take a good look at this. It usually comes with this. So my mistake was I accidentally took just this part and I didn't take the whole complete thing. It's just a couple bolts right here. You can see this little control arm. But like this little arm thingy, I don't know how good you guys can see it, but you unbolt it from there and right here on the side and everything comes off completely. So you need that or else your hood is not going to latch. This one, believe it or not, is a lot shorter. So it latches now, but when I had it with this one, let me show you guys. Right here, it has like little bumps. So because of these bumps and because of right here, it does not latch with the 14 one. So you have to take off the 14 and we're just test fitting it. I didn't want to record until I knew it was going to work. So yeah, all you have to do is change that part, the whole header panel. Look how much thin it is right there. And now, watch it. And it clips. And it's all good. So that's how you do this. So now I'm going to move on to the next steps. Put the bumper and the grill. And let's see how everything's looking. I don't have my lights because they're getting done still. But I'm going to get to it. Alright guys, so bumper is not on. I'm just test fitting it on. So what you're going to have to do is the little plastics that are right here on your 14, right there. Which is these. You're going to have to take them off. Because they're also not going to let the bumper go in. But as soon as you take them off, there's four bolts. Three through the back. You can easily access them through over here. So those three. And then there's one over here from the little tubs thing under there. Once you get that off, it should be good. It leaves that gap, but I think I know how to fix that gap. All you gotta do is lift the bumpers, the bumper brackets. So I'm gonna try to do that, or actually I'm gonna test the grill first to see if I have space to fix the gap. If not, it's gonna stay like that. So both sides are over here. It is a different color, that's what looks different, but so far it fits good. You don't have to change the bumper brackets. I believe it's the same ones. 
Um, I did buy new ones though, but I didn't need them. I changed one just in case, but it's the same shit, so yeah. All right guys, so everything is dirty right now, but as you can see, there is a gap. So I am gonna lift it higher. I don't know how much more I can lift it, but to save you guys some time, I'd say you just lift them. If you don't want that gap, just lift it from the beginning. That way you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna have to retake it off real quick. And I'm gonna lift it up and it should be good. All right guys, so now that you have everything and you know everything's gonna fit, and that's a good time to set up your harness. I have two of them because I do not have fog lights originally. If you see my previous video, you can see I did not have fog lights, so I had to order a new fog light harness. Plus, I had to order a new headlight harness. So, right now, I'm not going to set it up. I'm just going to connect the the fog lights one and pass it up because I do not have my headlights. So, I'm going to be rolling with the 14 headlights for right now until I get them back. So, both sides, yeah. But right now, will be a good time to set everything up. They are a little bit complicated. This one is more simple like my old one. Just a fuse and then to the battery. But this one is a little more complicated for the actual headlights themselves. So you have all this, and then it goes to the battery, and then to the fuse box. You can see that little blue fuse. So yeah, I'm just gonna deal with one right now, and then I'll deal with the other one later on when I get my lights. All right guys, so as you can see, I'll put on the front end. The only thing that's off right now is that I have the regular headlights from the 14. So if you buy all the parts, and then you still have your stock headlights, they'll work for right now. Meanwhile, while you buy some other ones, I accidentally didn't connect the um, turn signals on this one, but on this one I did. Yeah, so it looks a little weird, but everything else is on. I needed the 16 headlights, that way I can make the fog lights turn on. But other than that, that's how it's looking. So it's going to be pretty good. Slowly but surely, eh, va. Here's another view. Like, it still looks a little funky because of the headlights. If I would have had the other ones, it would have looked so much better. But yeah, that's how it's looking. Wish I had the other headlights. Looking pretty clean. I'll get some more footage in the day and when I get the headlights as well. Now you guys can see the final result. And I forgot to slap on the bow tie. I need to put that on. Alright guys, so we're installing in the new lights already. So you can see the fog lights are already working. We already ran the wires for the harness hooked up, so this should be working right now. We'll see how everything looks when it's put together. Alright guys, so we're slapping on the lights. But what Paul is. <laughs> but the fog lights are already working. Alright guys, so that's how it's looking so far. I'm about to turn it off so we can try out the demon eyes. They're not fully connected, but let's do it. Turn it off. You guys can see it's already coming along 2016 front end new shit coming soon as well wait on it all right guys sorry on the lag but the truck is complete finally you guys seen i already got it done i want to show you guys a little more in the daytime it's a little cloudy but it's all good that way you guys can see the the little lights and stuff and everything so let me get to show you guys the truck as back there you guys already seen that shit now let me show you guys more so yep this is straight up how it looks just in the day right now. As you can see, everything looks badass. I really like how everything came out. Um, obviously, this isn't color matched todavía. Well, nothing. This hood is actually a different color. You just can't see it. You just don't notice it when you're from far. But, yep, that's how it's looking. I don't have the bow tie. My bow tie did not fit from the 14. The little header panel thing that I painted. What is it called? Like, I don't know if you guys can see it from here. I think from far you can. But it's painted, so resalta a lot. We got this painted in there. And then I have the demonized as well, which I'll turn on so you guys can see right now. Real quick, let me just, you guys can see, lights work. And let me turn on the demonized real quick. Alright, so that's how it looks with the demon eye on. That's some pretty badass shit. I don't know if you guys can remember, I used to have that on my 14. But it was way easier to do on the 14 because I just had to change the bulb and buy one that has it. Not for these. I had to get it custom done with its own switch and everything. The only thing that sucks is that when the truck is on, 
it automatically turns on the actual bulb so i can't have the demonized while driving and there's only thing that sucks but other than that i still like it when it's parked we just have this little look pretty dope let me know what you guys think i also have the sunroof on right now just one of them because i don't know if it's gonna start raining she's dirty but i va poco a poco and no this is not the final result it's a final result for right now but it's not the final result because i'm already looking into different parts i already know what i'm gonna get that's why i have not painted it yet because this isn't the final result so just wait on that but for right now it's cool to be rocking like this and the truck is about to leave in a few days to get some other work so stay tuned but yeah let me know what you guys think from a 2014 to a 2018 or 2016 through 18 i think it looks sick i have always loved these front ends so yeah yeah guys so that's it for this video i'm gonna close it out today because i've been forgetting to close it out most of the time so yeah like i said from 14 to an 18 it's pretty sick everything fit exactly how it is yeah so new mods coming soon even though i just did that but yeah stay tuned and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace